Mr Sp Speaker, I know the party opposite is desperate to talk about my living arrangements, <laughs> but, but the, public, the, public, the public want to know what this government is going to do about theirs. Yeah. Natalie from Brighton has been served with two no-fault eviction notices in 18 months. She joins nearly a million families at risk of homelessness due to his party's failure to ban this cruel practice. Now, instead of obsessing over my house, when will he get a grip and show the same obsession with ending no-fault evictions? Well, to begin with, it is a pleasure to have another exchange with the Right Honourable Lady in this House our fifth in 12 months. Any more of these, and she'll be claiming it as her principal residence. <laughs> on, on, the issue, on the issue of no-fault evictions, it may have escaped the right on lady's attention, but we will be voting on exactly that matter later today. The Conservative government taking action. Mr Speaker, he clearly thought he could work, spend all week obsessing over my living arrangements. I didn't even bother to read up on his own government's bill this afternoon. The reality is he caved in to vested interests on his backbenchers and delayed justice for people like Natalie. Yes. This week, the Housing Minister said there is no solid date for banning no-fault evictions. The Housing Secretary now says it won't happen before an election. So if he can give us a date, can he name it now? I can name the date for the Right Honourable Lady today. It's today that this House will be voting on it, and I'm confident that in line with our manifesto, we will deliver on that commitment. Angela Rayner. Mr Speaker, he clearly hasn't been looking up on his own government bills. But let me turn to another Tory housing failure. Leaseholds are a rip-off and a con. But the government's proposed ban on new leaseholds applies only to houses. The majority of leaseholds are in flats. What's the point on a ban on new leaseholds if it won't apply to flats? Again, the right hon. Lady is talking about legislation introduced by this government, which the party opposite totally failed to introduce in their entire time in office. And it's no surprise, because it's this government which has brought house, social housing waiting lists down by nearly half a million and delivered more affordable homes in the last year and last 12 years than Labour delivered when they were in office. But of course, all, all of this can only be paid for by making sure that we have a strong economy. And, and I'll tell you, her, her, policy, her policy to repeal every single Conservative trade union law in the first 100 days would open the door to French-style wildcat strikes, sweeping away the reforms that made this country great. And we all know, though, Mr Speaker, the one reform that the Right Honourable Lady would not abolish from Margaret Thatcher, the right to buy your council house. Yeah. 